carrying behind the elephant, and I already took my glasses off because I'm going to go lay down. Hmm. Pardon me. Today's devotional is on July 26th. The love of God. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Maybe I better turn the light on too. Um, yeah, drawn you with unfailing kindness. Um, Jeremiah 31, 3. Give thanks to God of God's. His love endures forever. Psalms 136, 2. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Romans 8, 38 and 39. See how very much our Father loves us, he, for he calls us his children, and that is where we are. 1 John 3, 1. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercy never ceases. Great is his faithfulness. His mercy began, began afresh each morning. Limitations 3, 22 and 23. For God so loved the world that he gave his only one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. John 15.9 are you battling with the question of whether God really loves you? Well, his answer is a thousand times yes. With every sunshine and bright moon, with every blooming flower and soft rain falling, he sings a love song to you. Then he opens the floodgates of his heart and overflows love is pouring and overflowing love is poured out on you when you allow him to live inside you he will fill you with his undeserved love and grace amen and then joyce meyer oh uh i said that today tomorrow's the 26th yeah because today was the 25th okay adopted by God. Although my father and my mother have adopted me, yet the Lord will take me up, adopt me as his child. Psalms 2710. My parents abandoned me. They didn't physically leave me, but they certainly didn't treat me as a child should be treated. My mother knew that my father was abusing me sexually and she did nothing to stop it because she was afraid of him. So, in essence, she abandoned me in my time of need. However, I remember even as a very young child talking to God and being aware of him. But I was an adult before I realized that he was comforting me in my situation and giving me the grace to get through it. Regardless of what you have been through, be assured that the Lord is with you and that he accepts you and cares for you. No matter what else, what anybody else, what anyone else does, we are never alone because the Lord has promised to never leave us or forsaken us. Hebrews thirteen five. I know how hard it is when you feel that the people who should help and comfort you abandon you, but instead of getting angry with them. Turn the situation over to the Lord and let him take care of you. God can do more for us in a few moments than the human being can do for us in a lifetime. All things are promised with God 
but people are limited to their ability to help us. Even if they want to help, they are not always able to do so. I urge you to give yourself to the Lord and ask Him to, do, to be in charge of your care. Father, I give myself to you, all my, pain, all my pain and joy, everything I am and everything I am not. People have disappointed me, but I now trust you to take care of me. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew. Goosebumps. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and we'll see you later. Bye now.